Hey everyone, I'm Francesca Froyo and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to take great pictures and videos of your permanent makeup procedures. Nowadays, we spend hours on our Instagrams, the social medias, and this is where we can get the most of our clients. But competition is very high, so we really need to show our customers that we are better than others. How do we communicate that? by taking high quality pictures and videos. Nowadays, unfortunately, it's not enough to be a good artist. You also need to be a good photographer to be able to show how much of a good artist you are. Because sometimes, you know, I just talk to my students in my courses and they show me their results, their photos, and I know that they're great artists, but if I would need to judge through the photo, they just, you know, they do not reflect the quality of their work because taking good pictures is a hard job. We invest a lot of time into the preparation and into the, you know, setting up of a good picture. But believe me, this is going to bring you so much more than the time you are investing in it. And it is essential. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do good quality pictures in a very easy way. You don't need to be a professional photographer, you just need to follow three simple rules. You ready? Let's go. Rule number one, make sure that there is enough light in the room. Room light is not enough, you need additional lights and no, also the flash camera, the flash of your camera is not enough. You really need additional LED lights. You can just simply buy like a ring LED or a couple of uh, uh, professional lights uh, with you know, the square ones with a lot of lights next to it. If you do that, make sure that you've got two so that you've got the light from both sides of the face. And I'm gonna link for you all of these products in the description box. So you don't need to go crazy browsing on the internet. I have already found them for you. And I will link them down below. So make sure that you got enough light. Um, light is never too much. So all the lights you have, just point them at the face of your customer. Then another trick is to lay your customer and take the pictures always when your customer is laid in the bed so that you've got a very uniform and smooth um, reflection of the light on her face. There should not be any shadow, any dark areas. So suggestion number one, light. Tips number two, you can take picture with your phone as long as it's a good quality phone. It can be an iPhone or a Samsung. Nowadays, we are plenty of options. And you're gonna need a macro lens. Today, I got two options to recommend you. This macro lens can simply be plugged on your phone like that to get more macro effects, so more zoomed in effect which nowadays is very trendy. This is the trend at the moment, so you want to follow the trends. The first lens that I will recommend to you is the Xenvo. This lens is pretty expensive, but I assure you it's a very good quality lens and I use this a lot, mainly on all of my photos and videos I use this one. This one is perfect when you want to get super zoomed in results. Especially I use it for videos most of all and uh, it gives me this very very closed up effect like it's perfect if you want to show just one area at a time maybe like a detail for example say for instance you have done beautiful pixel effect on the brow and you want to show how nice the pixel look and uh, your normal phone can't really get it I mean, your eye sees it, sees the pixels. Then when you take a phone, when you take a picture with your normal phone, they don't show as much. Plug in your Xenvo macro lens. The Xenvo lens on my phone, I have a 12 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro, supposed to be plugged on the top camera. If you have a more recent model, like a 13 or 14, 
The lens is still the same, still gonna work. You just need to switch it from the upper camera to the lower one. Just try it and you'll figure out immediately which lens or which uh, camera is the correct one. So, this one, perfect for very macro effects. Like for example, when I want to get a video of a full lip, it's difficult to get with this lens because it would focus only on one area and then at the sides of the, of the lip it will start being a little bit blurred. Which can also be a cool effect if you're into that actually. When you want something which is macro but not as macro as this one, I suggest you this other lens which is this one here. This is a Apexel uh, 4 point, no, 0 0.45 uh, wide angle macro lens. This one I purchased from AliExpress uh, and it's really, really cheap. Um, they have different, different kinds. Uh, this one for me is the one that I find to work the best uh, as another option. And when I take videos and photos with this one, it gives me a macro effect, but I still manage to get like a good big vision and a focus effect throughout the whole area, like the whole lip or the whole brow. It's not so good though, if you wanna take detailed effects. So two options, up to you which one to choose. Third and last tip for today's video is Prepare the skin of your customer before taking the picture. Don't just take it straight off the needle and take the picture, no. Of course, you know the skin of our customer has been traumatized, we've been passing on it, we've been swapping on it for the whole time, for like one hour and a half, so clearly the skin is a little bit red. And so what I like to do is I like to use the PMU Contour Design from Biotech, which is a creamy paste. Uh, it's a light skin color creamy paste. And I like to apply it with the double-ended brush from Biotech. And I use the flat side with a round tip brush. And I just apply it all over like a contour around my permanent makeup procedure. Now you're seeing the application on a lip procedure, but you can do the exact same procedure on the brows. This step is going to uh, remove the redness from the skin, reduces the pores, the vision of the pores in the photo, reduce the vision of the facial hairs that your customer may have because maybe she didn't wax before the procedure. Well, so this is the key. Okay, so this is a step that absolutely you've got to do because you really empathize your permanent makeup. It creates like a sort of a very, uh, like a foundation effect, even a concealer effect, a highlighting effect, because you apply a paste which is very light all around your permanent makeup. So your permanent makeup is really going to pop in the picture and the lines, the contours are gonna appear more crispy, more defined. So we're actually, we're achieving like a skin Photoshop without the need of using any Photoshop edit. So that's absolutely something you want to do. Make sure to apply it not too heavily and to blend it outwards with the skin so that there is no like borders or thick heavy lines. Then, if you happen to be taking a picture or a video on the lips, you know, the last step is the cherry on the cake and I always like to do that. Apply a little bit of gloss bomb from Biotech. Uh, this product is magical, it is a serum, with, is a hydrating serum with vitamin E inside, but it's also a super shiny gloss. And it gives me this very wow effect in the pictures because since it's so glossy, the reflection of the light plays a very good role on it and just, you know, gives me this wow effect. Every time I post a picture with the gloss bomb, I always get a lot of likes. So this is a trick for you, a trick for you if you wanna do it. I'm sure your customers are gonna love it. I hope this video was clear 
I mean, the rules are very simple and I know that you can follow them easy, but really these three simple uh, tricks, they're really going to improve your picture game and your Instagram game so much that you're going to thank me. <laughs> so if you have any questions for me, as always, feel free to drop me a message down below and I always get back to you girls, always. Also, if you have any suggestion for me for my next videos or something you want me to talk about or any doubt, I'm here for you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Click immediately, click the follow, the subscribe and also the bell. So you're going to receive a notification every time I post a new video and you're not going to miss anyone. Also, I'm going to leave for you my Instagram link here so that we can connect there as well. Thank you very much for joining me today and I see you in the next videos.